Good day, folks. Good day. Good day. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm doing great, guys. So, this one is called The Narcissist is Numb to Your Pain, guys. They're numb to your concerns, they're numb to your emotions. But most of all, guys, they're numb to your pain. All right? Guys, I want to start by saying this. Huh? If you have been involved with a narcissist, guys, then you can confirm what I'm saying here, essentially. All right? The narcissist is one dimension. Okay? They are selfish, self-centered, and they're one dimension. They only see things one way. All right? Which is what? essentially their way right it's like my way or the highway right it's essentially their way so they only see things one way all right and chances are guys you may have wasted your time and your energy in your efforts to get the narcissist to see things your way okay to get the narcissist to broaden their horizon so to speak okay you must have tried several ways, several different ways to get them to see your angle. And it, at the end of it all, they still fall back to their default settings, right? Which is one dimensional. So <laughs> you may have even gone as far as mirror them, all right? And it ultimately did not yield anything positive, all right? So let's understand that. Right, the narcissist is one dimensional, and as we always say, they're only concerned about themselves, they don't care about how you feel, how their actions are affecting you. None of that, okay? They're one dimensional, they focus on themselves, so everything that you do has to revolve around them essentially, all right? And so, guys, this is why. They're numb to your concerns, they're numb to your issues, and they're numb to your emotions, guys. All right? You will sit down with a narcissist and go over something, right? You will be civil, you will express your concerns about a particular issue, and what would they do? They will tell you, okay, they're gonna improve or something is gonna change, and then you move forward from there only to find out that nothing actually changed, that the narcissist is going the same way they've been going. They've been doing the same thing they've been doing and that nothing will ultimately change, all right? So let's, let's look at why, why this is the case, okay? Guys, we've already established, right? We've already learned that the narcissist is all about their narcissistic supply, okay? It's all about their narcissistic supply when it comes to them, okay? Whatever that supply may be, it depends on the situation, right? But essentially, they're all about the narcissistic supply when it comes to them, all right? And so their focus is one direction, all right? Their focus is one direction. The bottom line is their supply. And so that's what they're focused on, right? If it doesn't involve them or their supply, guys, they don't essentially give a damn, all right? So let's not waste our time and energy trying to convince the narcissist to see things another way or try to get the narcissist to broaden their horizon because chances are it will not happen okay so let's understand this they all about themselves they all about their narcissistic supply and no matter what it is that you give them okay no matter what it is that you're talking about if it doesn't involve them or that supply guys forget about it okay? especially if 
involves something that they need to change or something that they need to improve. Okay. It will blow with the wind. All right. So now let's look at why they're numb to your pain and your concerns, guys. Okay. We've already established, guys, that the narcissist does not have empathy and compassion. Okay, they lack these things in their arsenal. Okay, in their makeup, guys, they lack empathy and compassion. Okay, and so you're not gonna make them or cause them to empathize or be compassionate. It, guys, it's something that they lack. It's just not in their arsenal, right? It's not in their makeup. Okay, and so there's nothing that you're gonna do to make them do something that involves empathy and compassion right and if they do um attempt to do any of this guys it's all pretend all right it's all pretending right it's not sincere all right it's not sincere at all it's all in the pretense all right so let's understand that as well all right the last empathy and compassion right and as we know guys empathy is the ability to put yourself in, in someone else's shoes, right? Feel how they feel and those type of things, right? The narcissists lack, lack empathy and compassion, guys, all right? And so they lack the ability, therefore, to put themselves in your shoes, to see things your way, to feel how you feel, right? And so that's this is why they are simply numb to your pain, they're numb to your concerns, and all of that, all right? They just simply lack the ability to place themselves in your shoes and, and, and feel how you feel, all right? So that's one of the reasons. The other reason, guys, is that they lack the ability to reflect or introspect, okay? They lack the ability to reflect or introspect, all right? Now, when you reflect, guys it's what it's like how a mirror reflects right it reflects an image back to you okay and so when you reflect it involves you going if if you're reflecting on your day for instance uh, it involves you replaying the events of that day to see what happened throughout that day right you offended someone maybe you go back and apologize and make amends with them all right but essentially, it's like you looking back on what what took place for a specific period of time, right? And so the narcissist lacks the ability to reflect, okay? They are essentially one directional and their main focus is driving to that point, okay? From A to B, okay? I'm here, I need supply, and I'm driving to get that supply, okay? That's all. Nothing else matters. Okay. And so they never take time to sit back and, and say, okay, let me reflect on this day or this hour or this interaction to see how it went. Okay. And if there's something I could do to improve something there or did anything go wrong there? Did I offend the other party or any of that? Okay. So because they lack this ability to reflect, guys, huh? They are unable to see or realize the magnitude of the rat of the effect of their actions or the magnitude of the effect of their behavior towards you or towards others. Okay. It's just not in them. Okay. It's not part of your makeup. Okay. Let's understand that. All right. And you trying to get an officer to do that is you trying to get water from a piece of rock okay you took this piece of rock here okay and you asking that piece of rock to give you water okay that's essentially when you're trying to get the narcissist to reflect or when you when you try to get the narcissist to show some empathy and compassion that's essentially what you do okay you will sit there with that piece of rock for a thousand years and not a drop of water will come out of it okay so essentially, it's like that with the nuts, right? You will spend all your time and all your energy on them, with them, 
trying to get them to see things your way, trying to get them to show some compassion, try to get them to show some empathy, all right? Or try to get them to reflect on their actions and your deeds. And you will spend all your time, you will waste your time essentially. Because like I said, you will spend a thousand years, sit there with that rock for a thousand years, and you won't get a drop of water out of it. And so you will waste all your time and your energy with them on them and you will not get what essentially that you're looking for okay it's just not in your makeup it's not in their arsenal okay so to recap guys the number one reason huh is that they're one directional they all one directional and only see things one way okay it's all about them it's all about supply for them okay and if it doesn't involve that guy they're not concerned okay so that's the first reason okay the second reason, guys, is that they lack empathy and compassion. Okay? It's just not in their arsenal. All right? It's not part of their makeup. Okay? And so they won't be able to show empathy or they won't be able to show compassion towards you or towards anybody else for that matter. All right? And if they do, guys, it's, it's fake. Okay? Let's face it. Man. It's fake. All right? So that's the second one. The third, guys, is that they lack the ability to reflect, okay? They lack the ability to reflect on their past behavior, their past actions, all right? So they're not able to see the effect of the, the magnitude of the effect of their actions or the, mag the magnitude of the effect of their behavior towards you or towards others, okay? And so this is why, guys, I, tell, I say that the, the narcissist, is numb to your pain the narcissist is numb to your concerns all right you will sit there with them for years guys and try to get them to see things your way and you will never get that all right because it's just not in their makeup all right it's not in the in the in their arsenal it's not part of their program okay so like the rock analogy that i used earlier guys you will spend a thousand years and sit here with this rock with a cup and say rock please give me water rock give me water and you will sit there with that rock for a thousand years trying to get water out of it and for a thousand years you will not get one drop of water out of that rock all right so it's the same way with the narcissist all right your best bet is to just cut ties guys okay because essentially all you're doing is wasting your time and your energy and your efforts all right so let me keep this one short guys all right until next time guys Peace, love, and more life.